So now, as you can see, the, the array that we have is very, very small. And the problem with this is that the chatbot is only going to be able to answer a few questions. And of course, this is not uh, helpful. If you want to big a, if you want to build a big uh, scale uh, chatbot, you need to train the chatbot on a lot of data, and therefore you need to fill this array with as many uh, answers and uh, responses as possible. This is very very important. But the key is to know exactly what or expect exact expect what the users are going to uh, to say or ask the chatbot and to 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 do that to expect what or or to anticipate what they are gonna ask or say you need to know the purpose of your chatbot so for example if your purpose purpose of building this chatbot is to uh, uh, answer scientific questions then obviously here you need to have uh, scientific uh, questions and answers. If your purpose is to maybe to uh, provide information about a specific topic such as maybe business, maybe technology, then you need to here have an array that has these responses. So you need to know your goal before filling out or before adding uh, responses to this array. But but the, the, the most important thing is to add as many as many answers or as many responses as possible because you need to think you need to think of this chat chatbot as a child the more the more uh, phrases the more phrases a child knows the more fluent he or she will be able to uh, speak with people the more the, the more conversations uh, he or she will be able to have with uh, so many people so here let's add uh, so many or let's add a few for now let's add a few uh, questions and answers and for now I'm just gonna be using my chatbot uh, for just as a conversation between a between uh, a chatbot and a just a simple person so here I'm gonna say what's for example what's your fave sport so what's your favorite sport and uh, let me say here uh, uh, swimming for example swimming let's say also do you have children and then I'm gonna say no so you need to know again you need to know the purpose here as you can see I'm just having I'm just adding here uh, very day-to-day uh, uh, -day questions and answers between people so it's just a conversation based chatbot. Let me now save and let me uh, run my chatbot one more time and test uh, with with this array one more time. So here I'm going to I'm going to run my uh, script one more time and as you can see here performing system checks first and then it's going to train the chatbot on the new array. And it it takes some time. It takes a few seconds, but of course the the bigger the array, the more time it's going to take to train the chatbot. So let me wait until this is finished. And uh, as you can see, it's being trained and it's finished. Let me head on over to the browser and refresh and test. So I'm going to refresh and then I'm going to here test with the questions that we added. So I'm going to say, what's your fave food? And then I'm going to send and see what's going to happen. So if I send here, what's your favorite food? It's It says here, uh, cheese. Let me say, what's your fave sport so if I send I'm gonna get here I'm gonna get swimming so it worked successfully I'm gonna also say do you have children and I'm gonna send and here it's gonna say no so it worked successfully so again the key is to know your the purpose again I'm, I'm emphasizing this because this is very important if you know your goal and the purpose of building this chatbot the process is gonna be very simple because you will be able to add uh, uh, possible or potential responses that the user uh, might ask questions about.